Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third boy. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third boy. And in today's video, we will talk about the hinge theorem. This topic is one of my favorite topics with regards to triangle inequality. Kasi napakagandang pag-usapan itong topic ito. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So basically, what is meant by the hinge theorem? Let's start to read the hinge theorem. Sabi dito, if two sides of a triangle are congruent to two sides of another triangle, and the included angle of the first is larger than the included angle of the second, then the third side of the first triangle is longer than the third side of the second triangle. So kung babasahin niyo mismo theorem, nakakalito siya. Diba? Nakakalito. So I will try my best for you to understand well what is meant by the hinge theorem. So let's say for example, I have here triangle A, B, and C. At meron din ako itong triangle D, E, F. Try natin ano, i-chop-chop or himay-himayin what is meant by the hinge theorem. So sabi dito, if two sides of one triangle are congruent to two sides of another triangle, dyan muna tayo. As you can see, given this triangle A, B, C and triangle D, E, F, meron tayong two pairs of congruent sides. So for triangle A, B, C, the first side that is congruent to the other side is that you have side A, B is congruent to side D, E. Sir, paano niyo po nalaman congruent? Though wala tayong measurement, meron tayo itong tick mark na kung saan meron silang parehas na bilang ng tick mark. Therefore, the length of these sides are congruent. Yan yung first pair natin. E sabi dito, if two sides of one triangle are congruent to two sides of another triangle. Ito ngayon yung second pair natin. We have here, side BC is congruent to side EF. Sir, paano ulit naging congruent yung side BC and side EF? As you can see guys, meron tayong dalawang tick marks sa BC, the same as sa side EF natin. So therefore, they are congruent or equal in terms of measurement. So ngayon, okay na tayo sa part na yan. Dito na tayo. And the included angle of the first is larger than the included angle of the second. Then the third side of the first triangle is longer than the third side of the second. So ang pinakakailangan kasi natin dito guys, ito ha, um, gamit yung mga conditions later, kailangan natin malaman which side is longer. Is it the side AC or side DF? At gamit yung hinge theorem, kahit wala tayong makitang measurement, di ba? Um, uh, practically, we can say na yung dalawang sides ay mas mahaba yung isa, yung isa ay mas maiksi kung meron tayong specific measurements. Ngayon, ang gamit ng hinge theorem, kahit wala tayong specific measurement, we can easily identify which one, which side is longer, is it the AC or the F. So ngayon, pupunta natin ngayon dito, as you can see guys, um, eto, yung side AB natin, is bigger, yung angle niya is bigger than the side E. If angle B is greater than the angle E, if lahat ng conditions natin, sabi dito, if two sides of one triangle are congruent to two sides of another triangle, ito yung dalawang sides, and the included angle of the first is larger than, ito yung included angle, Yung B natin is an included angle of this triangle because nasa gitna siya or nasa pagitan siya ng dalawang congruent sides natin. At dito rin yung angle E natin is an included angle. If ito yung mga conditions natin ay na-meet na, ay na-satisfy na. Therefore, since angle B is greater than angle E, we can say that side AC is greater than side DF. Again, let me repeat, bakit po mas mahaba ito, itong AC natin, compared kay DF. Una, kung gruwa yung dalawang sides nila, pangalawa, yung angle B natin is larger than angle E. So, para mas maintindihan nyo, ito, kaya natin pagamitin. Meron ako itong gunting, ito, sana, uh, ito ha, uh, medyo madalikado ito, huwag dito na gamitin sa bahay kung wala kayong, um, kung bata pa kayo, kung hindi kayo mayingat sa mga ano, huwag yung gamitin ito ha. 
So let's say, for example, I have this scissors. So let's say, for example, ito ha, yung scissors natin. I will open it like this. Ngayon, kahit anong open ko sa kanya, kasi nyo mabuti ha, kahit anong open ko sa kanya, hindi nagbabago yung length ng mga blades niya. Again, hindi nagbabago yung length ng mga blades niya. Okay? So, ito yung pinakamagandang way para mas maintindihan nyo. So, let's say, for example, I will open this scissor like this. At yung angle niya ay ganito lang kalaki. So, yung angle niya ay ganito lang kalaki. So, let's try uh, measuring this part. So, yung measurement niya gamit yung marker natin, compare nila natin, is hanggang dito. Okay? Ito yun ha. Gamit yung ganito kalaking angle, is hanggang dito lang siya. Okay. So, let's try resetting this scissor. At what if naman, i-open ko siya na mas malaki? I-open ko siya na mas malaki. Kanina, uh, kahit i-open siya, natin siya na mas malaki, eto pa rin yung sukat niya. Hindi na gabago. Pero yung angle natin, mas lumaki. Kung mapansin, di ba? Mas lumaki yung angle natin. Ngayon, so kati natin kung gano'ng kahaba yung mga sakop niya. Okay? As you can see, yung length niya ay kasing laki na or kasing haba na ng marker. In which, kapag mas malaki yung angle mo dito, yung opposite side niya ay mas mahaba compare sa naunang side na meron tayo. Same with the hinge theorem. Ganun na ganun yung hinge theorem natin. Since yung angle B natin is larger than angle E, therefore, this side, AC, is greater than the side DF even wala tayong given measurement. So, sa next part ng ating video, I'll be giving you examples para mas maintindihan nyo what is meant by the hinge now let us try to solve or to do this activity para mas maintindihan natin what is meant by the hinge theorem. So, we have here the problem. Complete the statement using less than, greater than, or equal symbol. And yung gagamit natin concept dito is yung ating hinge theorem. So, for item number one, we are given triangle A, B, C, and triangle D, E, F, wherein side AC is congruent to side DF, side BC is congruent to side FE, and pupuntahan niyo yung kanilang uh, included angles. For the included angle of this triangle, side angle C, this is 105, and the other included angle is 120. Kung kapansin niyo, angle F is greater than angle C because 120 degrees is greater than 105 degrees. Therefore, your angle F is greater than angle C. So, kung mas malaki si angle F compared kay angle C, ibig sabihin, mas mahaba itong side D natin compared ko side kay side AB. So, to complete this, since mas may clear si side AB, we will be using the symbol which is less than. So, kapag less than nilagyan natin dyan, side AB is less than side DE. Okay? Sana nakuha niyo yung ano, example natin. So, for item number 2, we have triangle HGJ and triangle KLP wherein this side is congruent to this side and this side is also congruent to this side. Okay? Ngayon, sir, paano po yan? So, puntahan niyo yung kanilang included angle. The included angle here is a 90 degree angle kasi meron siyang box. This is 90. Okay? Degree angle, this is 85 degrees. Now, para sa mismong sagot natin dito, how will we compute this statement? Side AJ is blank KP. So, puntahan niyo ito sa HJ. Di ba? Ito sa HJ. And pag kinumpare niyo, 90 degrees is greater than 85 degrees. Okay? Ibig sabihin, your angle G is greater than angle L. Therefore, yung kanilang opposite side, which is HJ, ito yung pinakamahaba or mas mahaba. Ibig sabihin yan, your HJ, sorry, I'm be using red ink, your HJ or side HJ is greater than side KP. So, sana naintindihan niyo yung illustrations, examples, at yung pag-discuss natin ng different um, 
examples para malaman natin ano ba talaga ang ibig sabihin ng hinge theorem. So kung meron kang tanong or you want me you want to request a topic that you want to discuss within this channel, feel free na isulat mo sa ating comment section. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!